Hey guys, it's Tom here from Pro Direct Running, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you an initial first look at a very exciting and somewhat intriguing super shoe from Puma. It's the Puma Fast R Nitro Elite. So Puma have made a real resurgence in the last couple of years in the running game, signing some of the best athletes on the planet and introducing a very comprehensive lineup of shoes. The Fast Star is the brand's second top tier carbon plated shoe alongside the DV8 Nitro Elite and is more catered towards the longer distances like the half and full marathon. As a little disclaimer, I should point out that the shoe that I currently have in my hands is a sample pair, which means that I'm not actually able to run in them but I can still give you all of my first thoughts on how the shoe feels on foot and all of those juicy stats and details. First of all, the Puma Black and Fizzy Lime colorway that I've got here is an exclusive to Pro Direct Running and Puma. And I don't know about you, but with winter just around the corner, having a predominantly black silhouette with little pops of color like we've got with the lime here is exactly what the doctor ordered when the weather gets a little bit gruesome. And as a final note on the aesthetics before we get into the more important stuff, I am a big fan of how the shoe looks. I really like the segmented midsole that we've got here, which we'll talk about in a little while. And it is somewhat reminiscent of the Alpha Fly. And ultimately, it's a shoe that looks like it means business, which is exactly what you want when you're lacing up on race day. So jumping into some of the key stats and starting off with probably one of the most scrutinized characteristics of any recent super shoe release, let's talk about the weight. The sample pair that I have here are a UK size eight, which is half a size down on what I would normally go for. But on the scales, they came in at about 210 grams, which is incredibly competitive for a shoe with a stack height like this. Moving on to the midsole, with the Fast Star Elite, we've got a lot of it with 38 millimeters in the heel and 30 millimeters in the forefoot for an eight millimeter drop. The midsole itself has a very visually striking segmented design that I mentioned earlier, which looks great, but it is purely a functional consideration. So the chunk of foam at the rear of the shoe is a more traditional EVA blend. And really the main purpose of this is to get you rolling forwards nice and quickly onto the forefoot, where you've got Puma's significantly softer Piva-based Nitro Elite compound. You'll also notice when flipping the shoe over that in the heel, we've got slight serrations to the rubber coverage. Now this is just to aid with the flexibility and further contribute to that smooth transition from heel to toe. Now, obviously it wouldn't be a super shoe without a carbon plate in this day and age. And you can quite clearly see it on the outsole and on the side profile of the Fast Star. And Puma are using their power plate here for maximum efficiency on the run. Up top, we've got a beautifully lightweight and semi-translucent upper with power tape reinforcement for added structure and durability. The tongue is semi-gusseted and has a booty style construction, which means it should sit on top of the foot really nicely. And once you've laced up the Fast Star, that tongue shouldn't move around whilst you're on the run. Like I say, I've not had a chance to run in the Fast Star yet, but the initial step in feel is lovely and lockdown was incredibly easy to achieve. So this sample is half a size smaller than what I would normally go for, but I still think I could just about get away with it with a thinner pair of socks. So I'd expect anyone who goes true to size here to have a really nice amount of wiggle room in the toe box. Finally, flipping the shoe over and taking a look at the outsole, it's really nice to see such a significant amount of Puma Grip LT coverage here. Puma Grip LT is essentially a lighter version of rubber in comparison to what Puma have previously used. And to have such a generous amount of it here just means that you should be able to get a solid amount of miles out of this shoe. So that's gonna do it for our first look at the Puma Fast Start Nitro Elite. I'm very excited to get my feet in a pair and bank some miles in them soon. But until then, let me know what you think of the shoe down in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on for more running content coming very soon. And as always, you can shop the full Puma performance running lineup at prodirectrunning.com.